Hi, in this video I have a few circuit breakers and one isolator and I'm briefly going to describe the functions of each one. Over here I have a single pulse circuit breaker and it is designed to trip at 10 amps. Next to it is a residual current circuit breaker often called an earth leakage and one of the reasons why it's called an earth leakage circuit breaker is because if your live current is higher than your neutral current it, it means some current is being lost to an earth connection therefore there becomes an imbalance and this trips all right so just to expand on that point a little bit further here is my rcd my residual current device also called residual current circuit breaker or sometimes called earth leakage circuit breaker there's a slight difference in the sensing of the current or voltage in terms of how this operates but i'm going to briefly explain the principle here we've got current coming in here from the supply or your utility this would be in the on position so it would be lifted which means current could flow from here notice that this is the live so this would also be the live this becomes a dead short when the circuit breaker is in the closed position and the neutral also it becomes a dead short from there to there when the circuit breaker is closed that means that current can flow through the earth leakage circuit breaker to the motor the motor then has an output over here the current leaves here obviously this is in this time instant because it would be an ac current so in this time instant the current would be coming in there and going back to the supply like that what's most important is if this motor is using 10 amps while it's at steady state we should see 10 amps leaving so we should always have a balance between the neutral current and the live current so the current leaving the circuit breaker and the current coming into the circuit breaker so while the current is in balance the circuit breaker does not operate because there is no fault condition if say for example this motor develops a fault inside maybe some of the insulation breaks down and some of the current makes its way to earth that means that less current will be returning so say for example we had a steady state current of 10 amps and now only 9 amps is returning at that time instant we will find that there's an imbalance and this earth leakage or this RCD will then trip disconnecting the current because of that imbalance and that's one of the reasons why it's called an earth leakage because the current most of the time is leaking to the earth if a fault occurred over here we would also have a imbalance between the current coming in and the current going out and if a fault occurred over here on the neutral if the neutral for some reason went to ground well we would also have a trip of the earth leakage so the purpose of the rcd is to measure the difference in current coming in and current going out when there's a difference of more than 30 milliamps in most cases the rcd must operate 30 amps is the maximum difference in current that the rcd should allow what this particular one doesn't have is overcurrent protection it can handle 63 amps traveling through the circuit breaker but if you exceed that you may damage the circuit breaker it will not trip it will not open the circuit if there's an overload this is only to measure the difference between live and neutral the one to the left is the same it's just rated at a lower current as i'm showing there it's 40 amps so it can handle a 40 amp load but this too will not trip if you exceed that current it also works by measuring the difference between these two terminals over here i have a double pole circuit breaker rated at 63 amps this circuit breaker will trip when the current exceeds 63 amps this circuit breaker also provides a disconnection feature which means you can use this as a main switch. This over here is not a circuit breaker. It is a disconnector or isolator. And it has a rating here of 32 amps, which means it can handle a load current of 32 amps. Above that, you may damage the unit. What it does do is it allows you to switch things on and off. And once it's off, it has a certain withstand voltage which it complies with the disconnecting function of both of these units is rated according to a withstand voltage the withstand voltage is how much voltage it can handle before it will arc across the terminals this offers automatic operation for overcurrent this offers automatic operation for a difference in current this is the same this offers automatic operation when there is an overload this does not offer automatic operation. This is a manual operation. 
There are certain circuit breakers that do offer earth leakage protection and overload protection. Over here I have a circuit breaker which can measure earth leakage current. So it is measuring the differential between the live and the neutral, but also offering an overload protection of 63 amps. Then over here I've added another one. This is an earth leakage circuit breaker measuring the difference between the two terminals, but this has no overload protection. So it's very important to look at the labels on the front. I'll now show you a diagram with the symbols. All right, having a look at the IC symbols for switch gear over here, the first one just says a switch. This is a general symbol for a switch. This would be your light switch. For example, you use your light switch to open and close the lighting circuit under normal conditions. Then we have a disconnector, but note that it says offload. So this means you can disconnect a part of a circuit, but when you do the disconnection, the power must be off and also the load must be discharged. Sometimes the load stores energy. We have to wait for that energy to be dissipated before we open that disconnector. Over here, we have a switch disconnector, which is on load. Notice the symbol has this little circle under the line. And if I show you some of the devices which I had on display, Notice this one over here has that line and that circle telling me that this is an on-load isolator. This is a four-pole isolator, which means you could have a neutral and three lives. And over here, you can see that each one of those is a on-load isolator, meaning that you can operate this when current is flowing, as it states here, of 32 amps. Right, having a look at the circuit breaker. And when I explain the circuit breaker, I'm also going to bring your attention to the circuit breaker suitable for isolation. Notice the only difference is the line at the bottom. And I'll just show you the picture. So over here, we have a double pole circuit breaker. It may not be very clear, but this is also a on load isolator. So this offers both functions. And then over here, we have a circuit breaker. This circuit breaker operates as follows. It says 10 amps. So that means if a current of more than 10 amps is trying to flow through the circuit breaker, the circuit breaker will operate disconnecting that current. In this double pole circuit breaker, the same applies. It's just that it will open both terminals. So we'll have maybe a live here and a neutral here and the circuit breaker will disconnect both. If I show you this one over here, this is an earth leakage circuit breaker. And there's the X telling me it also operates as a circuit breaker for fault conditions. Now, if I just compare that to this RCCB, notice that this one does not have overload protection. This only measures difference between these two terminals. Notice there's no X there. The 40 amps just tells me the rated current of the unit, although the maximum braking and making current is much higher, rated at 500 amps. If I now show you this one over here, this one can handle 63 amps, but also this one does not offer overload protection. It's looking for the difference between these two terminals. And also notice that says on load disconnection. You can see there's the circle and the line above. And if you have a look at this earth leakage circuit breaker, notice it has the X. It also has the line telling me that this is also usable as an on load isolator. So this is providing more than one function, but the one next door to it, notice there's no X there telling me that it is not for overload protection. It even states that on the body of the unit. Notice that these may look very similar, but there is slight differences. Firstly, this is white. And also notice that the symbol on the front is different, telling me that this one can operate if currents are flowing above 63 amps, this will trip. This one over here will not offer overload protection. If a 64 amp current flows here, it is not going to automatically trip. However, if there's a difference in current between the live and the neutral terminal, it will automatically trip. So this one over here is very similar to this one over here and this one over here. All right. Thanks for watching and cheers.